Good morning, good morning. It's Kennedy and Sid. Good morning, good morning to you. Hey, DSA. Good morning, DSA. This is your Executive Vice President, Kennedy. And this is your Executive Secretary, Sydney. Please pause for the moment of silence. Please note that we have a new school schedule. You will have arts, PE, math, and science on Mondays and Wednesdays. Language arts, world languages, media classes, and social studies will be on Tuesdays and Thursdays. School is officially in session from 9 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Opposite days and Fridays are a great time to get in touch with your teachers for help. Congratulations to London, who won the fourth annual Stop Teen Dating Violence PSA contest. London was selected by the Solicitator General for producing a visual interactive announcement, informing her peers how the cycle of abuse affects young adults. She produced a one-minute video promoting healthy teen dating practices with the goal of preventing dating violence. You can watch her video on YouTube, and the link is provided below on the announcements page. Here are some pictures from early March of students working on the Toyota Distracted Driving Public Service Announcement Challenge. Students and staff, all golden pen and golden branch entries are due to Dr. Hunt by 5 p.m. on April 8th. Please email them to her. Did you know that publishers, libraries, and other companies are offering literally millions of free books and audiobooks during this time of national crisis? We can't go out, but we can still read. Check out the DSA Media Center website in the link below for all the places offering free books. You can even still get a library card and use all of their electronic resources and books. And if you want to join in on the Global Book Club, Download the Sora app and listen to the Big Library Read selection of the young adult book, Funny, You Don't Look Autistic. It's a young comedian's autobiography about what it's like to grow up autistic and try to break into the world of stand-up comedy. Zara and Lola have decided to make a quarantine 48-hour film festival to take place April 10th through 12th, and they're trying to get both filmmakers and non-filmmakers from all over to participate. There will be both a beginner and advanced division, and they will also have a donation open that will go towards relief services fighting COVID-19. Follow them on Instagram at Quarantines Film Festival, teens is spelled T-E-E-N-S, Film Festival, for more information. The deadline to register is noon, April 10th. Get your cameras out and participate. Congratulations to Jack, who entered the film school for Quarantine's film competition, in which he had 72 hours to make three-minute film that included a toothbrush, a door-to-door -door salesman, and the line, There's no place like home. His film made the top 15 finalists. Voting for the winner was this week and ended Thursday. We're looking forward to hearing how he placed. In the meantime, check out his film. You can find his film listed in the links on the announcements page. What are you doing to help COVID-19 response? Students Taylor and Joey are sewing masks at home. Did you know that Joanne Fabric is encouraging people around the world to make masks for our medical personnel? They're even donating the materials for it and have curbside delivery available. Check out the link on the announcement page to learn more, including patterns for masks. Hi everyone, I'm London Sky Roberson, your executive board president, and I'm here with your quote of the week. Success isn't about how much money you make, it is about the difference you make in people's lives, and that's by Michelle Obama. If you have any announcements, you can email them to Ms. Ruhi so they can be in the weekly announcements. I hope everyone is staying safe and well. Until next week.